previously on the dragon ship. But I think there's some underlying things that we don't really take into account. Um, social constructs that you know, current social constructs have an effect on it. Mm. Um, and current attraction standards, they also have an effect on it. Um, and current materialistic standards have, has a, have an effect on it. Okay. Um, let's take, body fat percentage probably 40 years ago okay body mm -hmm. fat percentage was r roughly for, for women probably in the to 15 to 24 to 25 range all right and as we become less active all right the body fat percentages aren't changed and that is that's a genetic marker about body fat you're all you're born with so many cells and you know so women get heavier and men do too i'm just using women as an example men get heavier the attraction changes because availability changes all right so selection becomes what the net what your next indicator of health is going to be so that's so that's social that's social engineering driven into that like right now, we want everybody to have, you know, less than 30% body fat. Well, 100 years ago, you know, 26 to 27% body fat was maybe desired because of a lack of food or an opportunity for lack of food. So all those things go into it. And what do those things do? They also can help. They also control some of your hormone functions, you know, because uh, that the key indicators of health. So there's a lot that goes into it. And to simplify it and say, it's only this. Yeah, it can be only that if everything is perfect. But, you know, look at the outside influences that have an effect on it, too. 100%. 100%. I think, I think we're going to take a look at that. You're, what you're saying is that over time, the social contracts have an effect over the selection process. Right, they do. Yeah, I, th I, I got a pretty good chart from uh, the Rational Mail. I think that describes it very well. We can get into that. We get into that part. What do you say, Phil? That sounds solid. We can do that, definitely. Oh, definitely right. so you know so you want to you want to deviate that's fine so no we don't have to i mean we could keep going on and then or we could you want you want to look at that uh time shift right now i can bring that up in yeah, yeah let's screen. let's whip that up let's do that okay let me remove this so how do we correlate this to brad pay or yeah brad pays and chad <laughs> lays <laughs> well i think uh, let's get through let's get through this portion and then we'll get All to right. the, uh we'll get to the timeline because we need we do want to talk about basically well, but also social constructs change the perception of their, of what a what a chat is and what. Yeah, yeah. that's true. One hundred percent. I think there's a there's a fundamental part of that that adds to it, but I think the fundamental baseline I'm going to push back is something that is universal. You know, I can go back to some of the works that uh, Dr. David Buss did, and what they found as far as uh, attraction. Uh, and we would define it as masculine behavior in men as they as they grow and establish uh, status in whatever society that they have is pretty universal across the entire planet. So it must be something that's much more fundamental when it comes to that. So uh, and it seems as though as we move forward and add all these constructs on it, it it's an additive or a subtractive process to that base level, in my opinion. I, would you agree I, with that? I, I agree, but I also want to say this, okay? If you go back to prehistoric times, survive, survival was the social construct, all right? That that was everything that we did, we did to survive. Yeah, and being herd animals, absolutely. Okay, as we industrialize, all right, the social understanding of... Um, social positioning for males and females has changed not to say that i agree with it but it's, it's changing okay because the narrative gets pushed that we're not just surviving anymore. when you get past the survival side of it and you start trying to develop social social acuity beyond that it becomes um you know the top 15 to 20 percent drive what it drive what was 
that's not the case anymore. I mean, the common common theme right now is, you know, masculinity is what you want it to be. And that, that's been pretty relevant, <clears throat> pretty relevant since, you know, maybe the late 60s, early 70s. We've been moving towards that. So now, you know, if you're, if you identify as a male and you're a male, Mm. And your there will be consequences that we're already seeing it right and yeah. that's, that's all i'm saying you've got to watch the social constructs and see what effect the social constructs and have on, on attraction and on understanding and belief systems and on how we perceive ourselves as individuals okay based on those social constructs yeah so why why is it why are 80 percent of men aren't getting laid right now because they're not acting you know, and it's not as simple as saying they're not acting the way a man should want should should act. Mm. There's other things that are going into that. Yeah. All right. And the pro one of the things is is you know uh, unfet unfettered unilateral attraction across the spectrum of human. So you know, and and I'm, I'm, and that's talking about bisexuality and all that stuff. So the, the all those all those norms that we used to have. Okay, that were if you're this, you're not this. Those are those are going away. And you get to, you know, if you believe what you know Gillette says, you get to define what is masculine is. And <clears throat> most men are most men are looking to women to not define that because of the thirst. You define that for me so I can so I can get lucky. And yes. they're not getting lucky, that's the problem. All right. And it, it drives a bigger wedge in what it would what what the differential of attraction is from an instinctual standpoint to what the social construct is. Hmm. Well, so, so what what uh, what are you getting at as far as this uh, ovulatory shift? Are you saying it's less important or it's more important than the social contract? I think it's I think if if you want to be successful at reproducing, it's it's probably more important. But if you want to be accepted in society, it's probably less important. If you haven't already, join Thor's The Dragon's Membership. It's a men's monthly interactive meeting in cyberspace. This is a mask on place for men that is censorship free to help you increase your performance, converse as well as leverage ideas, and get coaching consultations on how to handle life's issues in a modern world. This is a unique place. This is a discreet place, and it's a place for men. So what are you waiting for? Join the Dragons membership today 